town of Gilbert officials are attempting to quell the public's outrage and disappointment at the lack of movement and lack of arrests and lack of prosecution dealing with the Gilbert Goons case. And I don't think it's going very well. Three council members of the town of Gilbert, Scott Anderson, Chuck Bon Jovi, and T Jim Torgerson has filed paperwork to discuss and approve a proposal to create a subcommittee. The subcommittee is supposed to bring transparency, identify the scope of the attacks, and better understand the slow police response that has outraged parents. And that's something that I want to talk about. The other thing is I want to play for you just a little bit of the interview of Rachel Mitchell, the county attorney, where she says she has no idea why Queen Creek Police Department has not arrested, has not arrested or made arrests yet at this point. People have asked me, uh, why didn't Queen Creek refer this to the county attorney's office to decide if charges would be made rather than arrest people and bring them in? Well, I, you'd have to ask uh, Queen Creek why they did that. Um, I mean, I I would be speculating, but I, I mean, it may be because of the complexity of the case to give us time to look at it. I mean, normally when the police arrest or go do this investigation, the police just arrest somebody and then give it to the, the county attorney. That's the typical process yeah. is they arrest somebody and then they're booked and then we have um, time to, uh, a short time to review it. So we don't, you don't know why they, they did it this way instead? No. Okay. So while the submittal for charges did bring some relief to the public, um, the county attorney isn't going to really be providing the type of relief that I think Queen Creek Police and Gilbert Police and the town, the politics of the towns wanted to see because they're not going to rush this and it could be quite some time. And in the meantime, there are still criminals, violent criminals on our streets and none of the police departments seem to be doing anything about it. What would transparency look like? What would communication look like? Well, one question I have, and I'm sure other people have, is why were the four cases that have been reopened in Gilbert, why were they closed in the first place? There could be reasonable explanations like the victim didn't cooperate or some other reasonable explanation or Maybe it could be a, an unreasonable explanation. Maybe certain officers were paid off. I don't know that. I'm not saying that happened, but those are the types of possibilities, right? There's reasons that something should have been closed, and then there's invalid reasons that something should have been closed. The police chief by now should know either way and should tell us these were closed by mistake. I take full responsibility for that. We missed a step in our process. We've tightened up that process. Like give us information, be accountable, be a leader. I am pro police. I believe in our police. I believe in our town. I believe in our town government. I, I want you to win. I want you to come out of this better. I want Gilbert to come out of this safer. I do not want riots, mistrust, um, I do not want to burn everything down to the ground or defund police, but I, like many other parents in Gilbert, do want to see more than what we've gotten and an explanation for why it's taken so long. Either what's been reported in the Arizona Republic is not true and the police department in Gilbert is doing a top-notch job because that is, an, is untrue information, but if what is in the Arizona Republic is true, then you have a lot of explaining to do and somebody has to be held accountable.